Maybe they're gonna make a 8K 60 frames per second this year, but I kind of doubt it because it's gonna be too much. SES 2021 is approaching and hopefully this year we're gonna see some new cool high-tech products. Today we'll talk about what is SES in itself and what to expect from the 2021 show. This year it will be different and for the first time since its opening in 1967 this show is gonna be fully virtual. This means there's gonna be no people attending the show in presence personally. Everybody is gonna be looking at it on the screen. This new format will allow participants from all around the world to see the cutting edge technologies, the new tech launches without having to actually travel anywhere. It might be actually good for most people. They don't have to spend money on a ticket, book the hotel and so on. So this might actually create a trend that's gonna converse to next year. But as far as we know so far, the next show is gonna be real, not virtual, or they're just gonna combine both together, who knows. First, let's talk about what is SES. SES is short for Consumer Electronics Show and typically hosts presentations of new products and technologies in the consumer electronics market. SES is one of the largest shows in the world. During the regular year when it's not virtual like this year, it takes 18 days to set it up, run it and break it down. It's usually held every year in January. SES showcases companies including manufacturers, developers, suppliers of the consumer electronic products and so on. Some of the most innovative products that were presented at the annual SES show were beginning in 1970, video cassette recorder, DVD in 1996, HD TV in 98, satellite radio, Xbox and plasma TV in 2001, Blu-ray and HD TV in 2003, OLED TV in 2008 and 3D HD TV in 2009, tablets, netbooks, Android devices in 2010, flexible OLED displays, 4K UHD and many many more. So as you can see this show brings a lot of new innovative products that then make it way to the actual market. This year annual SES will be held from January 11th to January 14th starting this coming Monday. I'll try to do my best to cover all the most innovative technologies presented at the show in a timely manner. So make sure you subscribe to support my channel as well as not to miss any cool new updates about the SES Electronics show. Most of the major tech brands will have their presence at the show such as Asus, Lenovo, Samsung, LG, Nvidia, AMD and many more. So we're probably gonna see a lot of new announcements. In particular, Samsung's gonna unveil their new Galaxy S21 at the end of the show. So make sure you stay to the very end. And this is gonna be real cool because everybody's excited to see what they're gonna bring in their new flagship phone from the Galaxy family. So I'm really excited to see myself. As we know, on the Galaxy S20, they have included a 8K video recording capability, which was outstanding because even most of the newest DSLR cameras on the market that cost thousands of dollars are not able to record in 8K yet. There is a Canon EOS R5 and some other ones, but they do tend to have the issue with overheating. I'm really surprised to see it on the phone. So we're gonna see what they're gonna bring this time. I'm really excited. Maybe they're gonna make a 8K 60 frames per second this year but I kind of doubt it because it's gonna be too much. It's probably gonna have a 5G of course and it's gonna have other features but I'm really curious what are they gonna bring in the new tech so stay tuned for that. What other tech is expected to see at the show? We're probably gonna see the micro LED displays which is not a brand new technology but it's fairly new. There hasn't been many TVs or other type of screens using this technology yet so we're probably gonna see way more this year and I'm really looking forward to see this technology implemented because it's gonna improve the LED contrast and it's gonna make LEDs a lot better and we're probably gonna see a lot more 8K displays because Samsung already has phones capable of shooting 8K footage which means soon you're gonna see a lot more 8K displays that's gonna be able to display that kind of quality and hopefully they're gonna be available soon for at much lower prices so that more people can actually afford them. Also, the new TV is gonna be coming with HDMI 2.1, which will allow Sony PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X to run at their full potential at 120 Hz, get you the best picture ever. SES is usually a good opportunity to present new laptop tech. Hopefully this year we're gonna see a lot more laptops with AMD based processor. Unlike desktop market where most people were building new computers with new AMD Ryzen processors, in laptop market most manufacturers still were choosing Intel mobile processors instead of AMD. And I think this is not fair because AMD mobile processors are just as good as Intel. So hopefully this year with the new Ryzen 5000 launch we're gonna see way more mobile 
processors in laptops. So you have more variety and you can choose between Intel and AMD laptop. So we as the final customers get the best products at the better price. There's probably going to be a lot of talk about 5G at this show as Qualcomm has announced 5G supports on its Snapdragon 480, which means a lot of mid-range smartphones are going to be supporting 5G and it's not going to be only high-end smartphones that are going to have 5G. Overall, this year we're probably going to see a lot of foldable, rollable displays with high refresh rates such as 90 Hertz, 120 Hertz, maybe even more. And we're also going to see some new Android devices with the Snapdragon 888. It will be much fun, so stay tuned, don't miss a video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and smash the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.